Hi. Hello and a big, big, big congrats on the good house. It's funny and touching and also quite hopeful. I love it. I'm so glad. No, I, I really, the idea of being able to tell a story of a woman of a certain age from her point of view, who's funny, was like the rarest of rare opportunities. And I jumped at it. And I love what's such a delicious character, right? He'll be good. Successful realtor, an alcoholic in denial, a part-time psychic, maybe a witch, a mom, a divorcee. <laughs> I mean, I describe her as lovably flawed. I mean, we we love her, yet we quite don't know how to help her, right? <laughs> Talk to us yeah. about <laughs> I think that's true. I think, you know, you spend the day with Hilda, you sort of see what she's up against. You see her public persona, which is, you know, I'm fine. I've got everything under control. And then you go back to her house and see her sort of kick back and unhook her bra and open a bottle of Pinot Noir. And then she just lets it out. And there's a great relief, I think, in seeing her have that escape. It's something I think we all got to know a little bit during COVID. We had to kind of have, you know, have a perhaps more intense relationship with alcohol because we were at home. And um, anyway, what I love about it is you kind of feel like you're at a bar with Hildy hearing her side of things. And because she's so honest and funny, you really root for her. You root for her to find her way and find another way of dealing with her problems, which happily turns out to be partially Kevin Klein. <laughs> right? Thank you for mentioning the wonderful, wonderful Mr. Kevin. I mean, at the heart of this small town intrigue is your love story with this character. And by the, you know what I noticed, by the way, is I love the way he looks at you in the film. I and mean, I've seen that look once or twice in my life, Miss Gorney. <laughs> Wow. That was about returning to his loving arms again. I mean, from Dave to the Ice Storm. I great films. Yeah. No. I mean, I think this is the nicest love story we get to tell. And for me, playing a character who is so far out there, it meant so much to me as an actor to know that Kevin was in my corner and I could take risks through the whole thing. And um, and, you know, when I let go of the trapeze bar, he'd be there to catch me. Um, and I feel like that's what Hildy felt, too, in the end. She knows that she's not alone. And um, and her love is, is, as I said, just a revelation for her and a new beginning. But it takes a while to get there. And, I, you know, I think Hildy's really doing that thing of hiding what's really going on with her, except with us, the audience, you know, she takes us into our, her confidence. And and I think that that was just a wonderful, um, just a wonderful thing for an actor to play. And Hildy's such a juicy character, as you say, um, that it encompasses the dark and the light. Oh, that's right. This is both the dark and the light. And I love that. A big congrats on The Good House again, Miss Sigourney. A funny and sobering film about life, love, and just a little bit of Merlot or Pinot Noir. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Annie, I love it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Good luck on everything. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Enjoy Palm Springs. Oh, thank you. Bye.